Today we're going to be upgrading the brakes on my friend's classic Mini. Alright, so to get started, the first thing we're going to want to take apart is your brake caliper here. Um, to do that, there are two bolts on the back of this brake caliper that uh, unbolt and allow the brake caliper to come off of your hub. Now you can see on this new one here, these two holes right here and right here are the ones that hold your brake caliper onto the, uh, the hub on your front wheel there. So just uh, you'll need to take those out and this should lift right off pretty easy. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is disconnect the brake line. Now on this car, because of the, the nature of the problem that he had, there's no brake fluid left in this brake. Um, however, when you disconnect this line here, what's gonna happen is all of your brake fluid's gonna come out. You're just gonna to wanna to kinda of prepare yourself for brake fluid spilling, so if you have a catch pan, you wanna lay that down. All right, so now that we have that caliper off, the next thing is to disconnect the end of the drive shaft here. Now that can be done by removing this cotter pin and then removing this nut that's actually holding your disc assembly here onto your hub assembly. Uh, so let's go ahead and break that free. So after you've got your whole brake assembly off, the next thing to do is inspect everything over here to make sure that everything's in great shape. So we're gonna check our wheel bearings, make sure that's in good shape, that looks nice and solid. The next thing we're going to check is our top arm and our bottom arm here. Make sure that they're good, filled with grease, and these are nice and filled. And then we're going to check our steering uh, tie rod end over here, and that looks great as well. So what that means is everything here shouldn't require any additional work. So the next thing we're going to do is actually put our new discs on. So these new discs that we're putting on are drilled out, so you got little holes all along your disc here. And now we're going to reuse the old drive flange, and that's this piece right here. And so it, it's held on with four screws, and those come out pretty easy by hand. And you'll take this drive flange off of your old disc and apply it to your new disc. Now if you're getting a whole new disc uh, brake setup and you've had drums in the front, this will be a little bit different. You're not going to have this drive flange. Um, and uh, your new disc assembly should come with them. If it doesn't, you're going to have to drop buy a drive flange separately. And I'll put links down in the uh, description for that. So the next thing that we're gonna do is just slide this over our splines here. And this actually has some splines inside it as well, you can see. And this just slides right over. Just like that. After that, you'll take your new tapered washer here. And this should come with your disc brake set as well. If it doesn't, you'll need to order these. And these slide on right here. Tapered side in. And then you take your new nut or the old nut if it was in good shape and you start screwing that on and tightening it up here so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so now you probably saw i tightened this nut down a little bit more after i put this cotter pin in i think that's important because sometimes the cotter pin hole doesn't perfectly line up with where you need the uh where this this gap is here in your nut so I just go ahead and tighten this down after I put this cotter pin in. It's just a little bit of additional peace of mind. So now you can see here, we have a spinning disc, which is great. So next we're gonna put our calipers on. And to do that, uh, we are going to remount it where the old ones came off. So there should be two bolt holes right on the back side here. And those bolt holes will line up with your new calipers and they'll slide right over this here. All right, so you can see I reattached the brake line first so that I could spin the caliper around. I just find it a little bit easier. And the next thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and reattach this up here. Now, if you've got new calipers, they probably came with new hardware, so make sure you're using that. It comes with a washer uh, and then a lock washer and then your new, nut, uh, your new bolt. All right, great, so this is starting to come together. As you can see, we've got our caliper attached, we have our disc assembly attached, and uh, I've gotten these bolts on the back nice and tight. This is tight and cotter pinned. The last thing that we're gonna need to do here is actually put our brake pads in. So those brake pads should have come with your new calipers. Now I would recommend keeping those brake pad boxes. 
In the future, it can be a little bit difficult finding the right pads for these brakes once you've put them on. So once you have that box, you can kind of use that as a reference moving forward for new brake pads when these ones finally wear out. Once you have your disc and your caliper on, the next step is to put your pads on. Um, to do that, if you bought a kit, these kits usually come with a set of new pads. And uh, in this case, this caliper right here actually requires two separate types of pads. Um, normally they come in a kit together, but one pad has some notches cut out of it, and the other one is a perfect square. And the reason they have two different ones is because on this back side here, there's a little less space to fit the full square pad like this one. So they just chop off these edges so that that fits in right, right nice and easy. So the next thing we're going to do, apply a little bit of grease on the back of your brake pad here. So just a little bit on the back. And then make sure you don't get any on this side, otherwise it's not going to break so well. And you're going to slide that brake pad right on in there. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty straightforward process. So let's go ahead and put the other one in. And then you'll slide that one in on this side. Now you're going to want to make sure when you put those in that the pad face is actually facing your disc. Otherwise your brakes are not going to work. And the next thing is you should have gotten two giant cotter pins like these right here. And these are what hold your brake pads in place. So you slide that through here, slide that through there. Now once you have these, pit, uh, these pins in, you're just gonna wanna bend them up. So once you've bent those cotter pins back, your brake pads are in, and the last thing you have to do is bleed your brakes. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, but I am gonna post another video showing you exactly how to bleed those brakes. Otherwise, you're finished up up front here, and the last thing you'll need to do is just reattach that wheel after you bled those brakes. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Otherwise, enjoy those minis and motor on.